Hey guys, welcome to SpecFlow Tutorial Behavior Driven Development Session 5. In today's session, I will discuss how to comment in SpecFlow feature and class file and how you can ignore a particular scenario or feature from any features file during execution. So Jarkins uses a set of special keyword to give structure and meaning to executable specification. Each keyword is translated to many spoken language. So primarily whenever you are just starting right with the spec flow, so definitely you need to and uh, with the uh, BDD pre framework right or the behavior driven development framework. So Jarkin is the default language which will be used and through which right we can um, do lot of stuff like scenario, scenario outline, right given, when, then, feature, everything. So these are the keyword is coming from the Jarkin. So commenter only permitted at the start of a new line anywhere in the features file. They begin with zero or more spaces followed by has sign and some test. Block comment are currently not supported by Jarkin. So, if you want to comment out something, right, in that particular spec flow project, right, whatever you have created. So, there are two type of file will be available here. One is the feature file and one is the, right, class file. It can be step representation class also. You can create a new class, any class there, right. So, in case you want to comment out something in the features file, so you need to give that has sign then start the comment right that uh, test comment in test comment in google feature file right so you could see the color is getting changed to green that means during execution that particular line will not be considered right so multiple line you cannot comment directly so it is not supported by Jarkin, especially in the features file. But in the step definition class, it is possible. So in case you similar way, you need to just write one more uh, line with the commented. So every line you need to use the hash syntax, right? Like that, features file two, three, like that. Okay. But all the line you cannot, right? Do the commenting. So there is no options available at all. Okay. For the, especially for the features file. So that is the only way you have to comment it out. So block comments are currently not supported by Jarkin. However, multiple lines or block from the class file can be disabled from execution or commented out. So how can you do it? So similarly, suppose say in case you need to comment, uh, comment anything, right? So here you can simply give single line comment. You can give single uh, again has. Right, in case you want to comment something, has symbol, then comment. Right. Okay, not here. It will be so, sorry, double slash, I think. Yeah. So here in the class file, it will be double slash comment. Like that, right? You could see not the has symbol. Only for the features file, it will be a has symbol. But in case in the class file, if you want to comment a single line, right? right comment for class file so that is the way you can comment it out okay single line comment but in case you want to comment multiple lines right and you need to disable them from execution you need to use control plus k plus c suppose say i want to comment out this part right so control plus k plus c at the same time you could see everything got commented out right Again, if you want to write uncommented, right, then you need to use control plus K plus U. Control plus K plus U. You need to select them first and after that you need to use it, right? Okay. So automatically you could it could be again uncommented. So first need to select the line and then if you want to comment it out, so control plus K plus C and control plus K plus U to uncomment it again. So that is the two way you can comment out the features file and the class file. So features file only single line comment is possible with the help of the hash sign. But in the class file, you can comment out single line with the help of double slash. And if you want to comment out multiple line, you need to select the line, right? And after that, you need to press control plus K plus C to comment and control plus K plus U to uncomment. That is the way 
you can comment out any features file or any class available for spec flow then in the next topics right so suppose say in the real time say I'm just giving example you are having 20 features file but definitely you will not be running all the features file all the features at the same time because that is not your requirement suppose, suppose sometime you are having 10 features file or 20 features file for 20 different pages but maybe suppose say due to some defect fixes right only two pages got impacted so that you need to do some specific uh, testing for these two pages so you need to figure out that right that particular two uh, features file I'll be executing all the pictures remaining thing I'll not be executing so definitely you cannot remove them right simply so what you can do for the relevant feature or relevant scenario you can just disable them from the execution okay so tags are marker that can be assigned to features and scenario so assigning a tag to a feature is equivalent to assigning the tag to all the scenario in the features file so so there are important concept available called tag through which I can segregate the scenario or the features file right but for a particular feature there will be multiple scenario in case I am selecting or entering some tag at the feature level automatically all the scenario will be impacted there right so at the rate ignore is other word the only tag that is supported by default and is translated to ignore in user test framework of choice especially for any unit framework because here whenever we are dealing with the spec flow right we are using the any unit framework so in the last session you already see how we are doing the assertion right with the help of the any unit so right at the rate ignore can be used to disable features and or scenario that are not ready to be run yet Maybe suppose say you are just working on certain couple of scenario which is not in ready status, right? Which is in draft status. So definitely <coughs> there is no point of executing them and filling them, right? Because this is draft status. Or maybe for some of the scenario, your scenario is ready, but your application is not stable or application is not developed completely. So definitely you can there is no point of running them. Right? So how you can right ignore a particular uh, features or a particular scenario so in case you want to ignore a particular scenario at the scenario level you can use at the rate ignore that is the tag you can use you could see the <coughs> <coughs> color got changed to green right so that there are two features file is there that google feature and the facebook feature and the facebook feature only one scenario is there so in case there is multiple scenario and few particular scenario you want to disable them from the execution at the scenario level you can make you can just add before the scenario at the rate ignore keyword right or annotations now if you want to run it right the test so two features file try to execute it but one uh, features file one scenario right ignore what we have already kept it so let's try to run and let's see what how it is making I mean dif the difference for during the run so there are total four scenario is there in the two features file so you could see here if you expand it right thus this features file it got skipped right because we have disabled them right you could see here ignored scenario message ignored scenario standard output right because this that is the reason this is getting not executed it is getting skipped for the others features file right there are three scenarios so it is getting executed accordingly and is giving success so total four was there one is getting skipped so that is the sign for I mean, right for the skip it is getting messages ignored scenario right now let's remove it the ignore part from the scenario level and let's go to the other features file right and at the feature level I want to ignore it so automatically all my scenario will be ignored by default right because feature is the parent and scenario is the child so here is we have used scenario outline but so uh, with the same set of scenario we are trying to run for three different combination but we have now ignored at the feature level now see whether the google dot feature three scenario is getting ignored or not right so now if you run it again so you could see the differences so now other feature file is getting ignored from the features level So here other scenario because we have removed the ignored part so it will be trying to execute it and it is getting passed but other scenario is getting ignored so this scenario is getting passed here right Above all the steps is getting executed and the second uh, features file you could see three skipped 
and if you go de uh, deeper right you could see ignored features not the scenario because it is scenario level we are ignoring it so that is the way right you can ignore either at the scenario level in case right in the same features file multiple scenarios present but in case you want to ignore them at the features level automatically by default all the scenario under that particular features will be ignored so that's all from today's session thank you